Well, BYU knows it's going to be without their leading rusher, Tyson Williams, for the rest of the season. Williams tore his ACL and his left knee Saturday against Washington. Just as a promising senior season was taking off, it all came to an end for Tyson Williams, who took a helmet to the knee, tearing his ACL. I was probably like one of the first people to find out because we were just at home together, and uh, it was tough for him, uh, tough for me to see him kind of in that in that state of mind uh, as a as a friend, as a brother, as a teammate. And uh, yeah, I was just sick to my stomach. Williams, who led the Cougars with 264 yards and three touchdowns, could take a medical red shirt and return next season. The details just try to get him healthy first, and then well, we'll figure out that stuff. But obviously, we're disappointed in the uh, you know in his injury, and uh, more than anything for for Tyson, all the hard work that he put in. Uh, to the season and the things that he's done for our program in such a short amount of time. You never want to see your uh, teammates go down with an injury. It's tough, and but we know we have a lot of depth, and the next guy will just have to step up. Those next guys are Emmanuel Asupa and Lopini Katoa, who could share the load. Well, we got Soup because he's a great player. We let them battle it out and compete for the starting spot, and uh, same thing will continue this week. You know, with Soup and Lopini and. Uh, we just, we, the goal was to kind of be deep at a lot of different positions. The Cougars also lost linebacker Zane Anderson for the season with a shoulder injury. It's so easy for them to be, you know, devastated and, and mad, but those guys have had really um, good energy, good vibes about them, and they care most about the team and for us succeeding, and they've been great leaders for us.